A lot of those funds will go toward food costs, including takeout and delivery orders. One business that continues to remain steady amid the COVID-19 pandemic is the pizza industry. Business has been good enough for local staple Tarantino's that management hasn't had to lay off any employees. Q2's Mitch Laggy checks in on how they're grabbing such a large slice of the pie. The usual lunch crowd hasn't been making it into Tarantino's Pizzeria in Billings lately. With less people at work and no kids in class down the street at Senior High, owner Jay Frichtel says the people have been making pizza runs less so in the afternoon, but more so at night. Our daily lunch business is, is definitely down, but our nighttime delivery and pickup has definitely picked up. We haven't had to lay anybody off, which is fantastic. So what we do is with the extra evening business, we take a daytime person or two and put them on the evenings and, and we've got drivers running their tails off and working extra hours, which is great for us and good for them, extra money. In general, the weekends are better for the pizza business. On an average day, Frichtel said Tarantino sells between 30 and 65 pizzas. This last Friday, the business sold about 90 pies. Support from the community is key during this time to keep local businesses like Tarantino's open. You know, there's a lot of us out there, a lot of people don't realize that are actually open. You know, if it's your favorite place, drive by. Uh, at this point, most of us can't afford to advertise like the big boys, so we don't. We just count on the fact that you'll come by and see our sign is open. For now, the lobby at Tarantino's is closed to customers for social distancing. But the silver lining there is the opportunity to spruce up the dining room. We, we definitely have a lot more time to, to deal with it during the day. And you know that's what we've been doing all day. One gal making pizza and, and sending them out and myself and another painting and yeah, putting a whole new look to it. Reporting in Billings, I'm Mitch Laggy, MTN News.